Ferry was uh, started in 1898 and over 26 million passengers a year use this ferry to cross over from Kowloon over to the Hong Kong Island and we'll see the views of how spectacular it is. It's also the cheapest way of crossing the Victoria Harbour. You know, I think this view from Kowloon looking back at the Hong Kong Island is one of my favourite views anywhere in the world. For me, these uh, sort of views, the skyline has changed quite dramatically over the last 25 years or so since I first came. As ever, the busyness of uh, ferries and boats and sampans in the Victoria Harbour, I think, is something to behold. This is what I love about Hong Kong. Going down little lanes like this, you just discover little pockets. Just here, such as a temple, where you can go in and check out some of the local sort of culture, incense burning. And then you wander down here, and there's some other little bits of arts and craft. A man here making a special lamp. And we'll go down here and we'll find some wonderful food, some cafes, and some local culture. One of the great things about Hong Kong, one of my top five things, is the Chinese food. It is absolutely fantastic. Day or night, when you're hungry, pop into one of these amazing shops and you can get anything you want. In front of me, I've got some lovely jellyfish. I've got a thousand year old egg, which actually isn't a thousand years old, but it's a really beautiful, sweet duck egg. And here's a drunken chicken wings, which is a little bit appropriate when you come to Hong Kong and you watch rugby. Hong Kong means fragrant harbour and you don't get much bigger and better than the fish markets here on the corner in the local market. You can choose your fish, there's some here which are literally just out of the water, still pulsating as I'm talking about it. You choose your fish, they cut it up here nice and fresh, wonderful experience. You've got to do it when you come to Hong Kong. As you can see, Hong Kong's a busy and vibrant city most of the time and it's going to get a whole lot busier come the British and Irish Lions first game on June 1 against the International Barbarians. This is where Hong Kong really comes into its own, the magnificent skyline of Hong Kong Island. If you want to be here for the Lions versus the Barbarians on June the 1st, get your tickets today.